wow, this feels really weird. I feel like you only ever hear me singing. You never hear me just actually talking. So I kind of had this uh, crazy idea the other day. I've listened to Louis Capaldi's music for years. I think he's such a sick artist. And I saw that he's touring throughout the US. And so I thought, okay, what if I go to some of his shows? And then I thought, okay, what if I go to all of his shows? I think it would be really cool to make a series of going to all of his shows and performing his songs for his fans outside of the concert every day until he decides to pull me up on stage. It might be very stupid, it might not work. This might flop and I might never post this. I'm, I'm trying to sort out the plans right now. It's gonna be a hell of a drive, but I'm willing to do it. And I'm hoping Lewis sees my effort. I believe, I believe. That's all you need in life is to believe. Okay, so after talking with my manager, we decided that this is the right thing to do. I coordinated with him, got hotels booked, and I am leaving this morning. We're packing this morning, and we're trying to leave by like noon today. I have my photographer that's flying in like nine, and uh, once she gets in, we're just gonna get packed and hit the road. And we're not gonna get to Seattle for about two days. I guess we're just gonna have to see what happens. All right, we're all packed up, we're in the car. Um, we're gonna be driving to Shanti to go grab her and then we're gonna be on our way to Redding, California for the night. Okay, we're officially on the first stop of the tour. We just got some Subway and got some Red Bull to keep us going. I think we have like six hours left today before we get to the first hotel. Uh, we got Shanti here, so she's about to start filming on the camera. The quality is probably about to increase <laughs> drastically. <laughs> ah! I am ready to get to Seattle. I'm we're, ready we're to get, get to there. the hotel and relax for the night. Oh, yeah, and watch nice. a movie. And get it's Cinderella story. With yeah. Hillary Duff. With Hillary Duff. Okay, so we're currently in the middle of nowhere. I actually don't know where we're at. Pulled over to a gas station and found this like super cool abandoned like store slash restaurant. We're taking some videos in here, filming some content, and then uh, we're gonna head back on the road. Now the day bleeds to get me through it all. I was getting kind of used to being someone you love. How's this working out for you, Jake? It's going great. Okay, so we made it to Reading for the first night. We made it to Reading for the first night. Now we're just sleeping. We're gonna head out tomorrow morning and uh, head for Seattle. Oh my god. Had a great night. I slept like sh <laughs> And uh, we're gonna get some coffee and then we're going to Seattle. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo! So we were on our way out of California and we found this super dope spot to pull over. We found this rest area that has an amazing view. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So. Water at the mountain. So sick. I love this spot. So we just took a couple photos and then we're gonna get back on the road. Alright, so we made it to Oregon. I felt like we had to stop the sign because I've never been to Oregon before. We just made it to Seattle and we just came out today to go look at some of the markets and we're gonna go to the show tonight and sing for some Louis Capaldi fans. So we went and got some more clothes and uh, got the guitar. We just got to the show at the Whammo Theater. Let's go time. I'm nervous. I'm super nervous. This is my first time doing this, but it's gonna be good. Let's go. This is day one of singing for Louis Capaldi fans in line until he pulls me up on stage. finished the first show in Seattle. Um, it was pretty good, it got some good content, got some good reactions, met some really cool people, and had some bad reactions. Hurt my ego, <laughs> but other than that, it was great. So now, staying in Seattle for the night, driving to Portland tomorrow, staying there, and then we have a show in Portland 28th.
All right, so now we're heading to Portland. But before we go to Portland, we wanted to do a couple more things in Seattle. So we're gonna go to the Pikes Place Market and we're gonna see the first ever Starbucks. We're gonna see the Space Needle. Do all the touristy things that we haven't been able to do since we got here. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What the heck? <laughs> Pike Place Market in Seattle right now. Right behind us is the first ever Starbucks. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. We're gonna go and get some coffee and walk around and see see what's around here. It's a really, really nice area. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. The first ever Starbucks. It's honestly so sick. I love it in here. We're gonna order and see if it's just as good. Oh, that was real, dude. Over here, Jake. Huh? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just found this little rest area in Washington that has really cool scenery, really cool forest. Now we're going to Portland. <laughs> We're at a beach in Oregon right now. The Louis Capaldi show for Portland got canceled, so we're not going to that. We still got a chance to come see the ocean, some really beautiful places around. So this is where we're at. <laughs> We just spent the night in Oregon. I got to see the area. We got six and a half hours. We're heading to San Francisco. So tomorrow morning, we're driving from San Francisco, getting on the ferry, going to Alcatraz Island. I have uh, a show in Berkeley tomorrow night that we're gonna be at. Looking at the Golden Gate Bridge, taking some pictures, and then going back to the hotel. It is freezing. So we're at Alcatraz. Um, I've always wanted to come here, never had the chance, and now we're here. I have something to cross off my bucket list. Alright, so we got to the Berkeley show and we were about to go in, but unfortunately, <laughs> if you look this way, you'll see that we have metal detectors up there that everyone has passed. The doors aren't even open yet and everyone is no already past the metal detectors. There's no line. We are we are here like an hour and a half before the show. They won't let me through. They won't let me through security. See you in the LA show. <laughs> it is May 1st, we finally made it back to LA. Um, unfortunately, the last two shows didn't really pan out with Portland and Berkeley. We have a few days off, we're kind of chilling, hanging out, and then we got an LA show, and then after that, we're going to San Diego. We're back, was just producing earlier today, and now we are at the show. Yeah, there's like 10 people outside waiting, we're basically waiting for more people to get here. And then, yeah, we're gonna perform for some people. <laughs> you know Grace? Oh, I love Grace. Yeah. Yeah, so. Just to be clear, um, it's you, right? Holy shit! <laughs> I do know you, yeah, okay. Do you want the chorus, or? Um, sure, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> but if I don't die tonight, I think I'll have to. I remember all the long nights where we had no fights, not even thinking about tomorrow. I Thank love you your music. so much. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. I love <laughs> your music. I've loved it since tomorrow came out. Oh my god! I saw you second on the way out. Do you know what she looked at? Oh yeah, you, you stop. I feel like I'm in jail. You think you could tell me everything, darling? But leave about every part about him. Smash him. Man. Jay Cornell, everybody, make sure you check yeah, out. Thank you, Ben. That was probably the best crowd ever. <laughs> so we just sang for some Louis Capaldi fans outside the concert. So Louis just came out and him and I duetted his new single, Wish You the Best, for a ton of fans that were standing around. And it was super amazing. And yeah, now they just hooked us up with a couple tickets to the show. And so we're gonna go see his uh, LA performance. Well, there must be 
something in the side. We made it to Phoenix. We had a drive from San Diego last night. San Diego was good, but we were only able to get a few reactions. Um, but that's okay, because now we're in Phoenix. And Louis Capaldi just posted the video of us together. Um, I've had a couple people messaging me saying, hey, I can't wait to see you at the show tonight. I'm really excited to, to meet some other people tonight and get some, some extra content. Heading to the, the Phoenix show right now, walk into the theater. I'm excited, I hope it goes well. We're outside Arizona Financial Theater. This is day five of singing for Louis Capaldi fans. Hey guys. Wow, look at that. Nobody said that it would last forever. We just finished the Phoenix show. It honestly went really good. There were a couple of people there that knew my music, and so I got to sing some originals for some people, and it was super awesome. So yeah, now we're heading to Tucson. We're gonna stay in Tucson for the night, and then we're heading to Texas for the Austin show. Where's Scorpions live? Tell me in when. holes. We're driving from Arizona to Texas. We have the first show in Austin. We have about two days before that. The next two days are traveling and seeing the country. But we saw about 10 billboards for this place called The Thing. We're about to go inside and see what The Thing is. So that's the thing. It's it can't even focus on you. It's a little. Hey Jake, want to explain what just happened? Um, <laughs> we just got pulled over. <laughs> I think it's because I have California plates in Texas. I was driving five under the speed limit. That's a bold face. I was driving five over. That's. I don't know why I got pulled over. <laughs> Okay, so we did the Austin show. It went absolutely horrible. <laughs> the wind was horrible. We literally couldn't film anything, so it didn't go well. But there was this radio show called Heart Breakfast, which is the number one breakfast radio show in the UK, hosted by Jamie Theakston and Amanda Holden, who was a judge on Britain's Got Talent. I have an interview with them in the next couple minutes uh, to talk about the Lewis show and what happened. Lordy. Hello? Jay. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Jamie and Amanda here at Heart Breakfast. First of all, Jake, where are you as we speak? Where are you? Uh, right now I'm in Waco, Texas, in between Louis Capaldi's Austin show and his Dallas show. Oh okay. my gosh, so you're literally following him around. Following him, uh, before every show I've been going outside to all the fans that are waiting in line and just asking them what their favorite Louis Capaldi song is and, and singing some of his songs. And all right, so we made it to Fairfield, Texas, in between Austin and Dallas. Yeah, we're about to go to the Dallas show, play for some fans before the Louis Capaldi concert. I think it's gonna go better today. Yesterday was really horrible, just weather conditions were horrible, wasn't the best demographic. I think today will go better. I'm hoping, and I know it will. I know it's gonna go better. Two more shows until the end of the tour. Let's get it. We're in Dallas, Texas right now. This is day eight of singing for Louis Capaldi fans in line until he pulls me up on stage. One more show to go after this. <laughs> day seven, day six, day five, day eight. <laughs> Uh, we just got to my parents' house. We are in Houston for the Louis Capaldi show. It's the last show of his tour in the US. So we got a day off. So I'm hanging out with my parents. I'm gonna show my mom my new song. Kind of relax for the day. My little sister is still in school right now. My mom just went in to pick her up. She doesn't know I'm here yet. We're gonna surprise her. Surprise. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so we're at the Houston show. It is the last show of the Louis Capaldi tour in the United States. This is day nine of singing for Louis Capaldi fans until he pulls me up on stage. I don't think it's gonna happen. We still got the post, and that's fine. Finished the last show for the Louis Capaldi tour. Been on the road since April 24th, and we just wrapped mid-May. So it was so fun. I'm so glad I got to come out here and sing for some people. The reactions were great. The people were great. It was a great tour. I can't wait to be back. Good stuff, man.